ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our hosts, 15-time Grammy Award-winning producer and composer, David Foster, and Grammy winner and actress, Olivia Newton-John. Good evening and happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and welcome to Kaleidoscope, presented by Santa Fe Aventus. I'm David Foster, and I'm so proud to be a part of a celebration of survivors like my co-host, the beautiful Olivia Newton-John. Thank you, David. <laughs> You know, what better night is there than Thanksgiving to share messages of health and hope and how each of us can make a difference. For the next 90 minutes, prepare to be touched, entertained, and flat out amazed by some of the coolest skaters and singers in the world. But it's a lot more than that. And Olivia, you know what I mean, don't you? I do know what you mean. I know a little about that. And so do my co-stars, Dorothy Hamill and Scott Hamilton. The three of us are fortunate enough to share the bond of cancer survivorship, along with 13 million other brave, amazing Americans. And that is a compelling story that you share with these millions at home and thousands in this arena. Thank you, Olivia. All right, it sounds like it's time to get the party started. Now, we're singers and musicians, and we've got some great musical performances coming up tonight. What do you say we kick it off with the hottest guy on ice? Yeah, and as the saying goes, everything old is new again. He's a cancer survivor who hasn't been on the ice in six years, but he's here now, and he's better than ever. Please welcome skater, father, and survivor, Scott Hamilton. <laughs> Welcome back to Kaleidoscope, presented by Santa Fe Aventus. What is with this summer music, Olivia? <laughs> well, down under in Australia, it's summer, you know that? I know that. But you know, it's always the season for love, and all of us survivors and thrivers know the power of love, and our next performer really knows what it means to stand up for love. Ladies and gentlemen, skating to a song that David wrote and produced, Nancy Kerrigan. The Purple Songs to Fight Project is a group of children who have gone through cancer who get together and write music together as a way of healing. Well, I received the lyrics and um, I called David and I said, I I've got these lyrics and he said, well, can you just work on them and then when we get together we'll, we'll see what, what we come up with. So we took the lines that we thought were the strongest, put them together in a song and then wrote pieces to link it together. Whenever you're asked to do a project like this, truly, it's like a gift because you have an automatic co-writer. I mean, I'm, aside from the kids being co-writers as lyricists, but the word cancer is such a powerful word and it comes with so much horribleness and all of it, the hope that there is for, uh, for millions of people that we're gonna beat this thing. Miracles are if we just be my great hope is that, uh, no pun intended, that the audience will feel what we felt when we were writing it and all that power that we got from these children and their lyrics. They did a really, really beautiful job. They're saying things that are coming from a different place than just a normal lyricist. So um, it was very special for us to get to work on the song. And we love the title, Hope is Always Here, because that kind of says it all. It was so beautiful, and it's just an amazing experience. It was just such a big opportunity. It's just really amazing to hear the music live. It's great. I think we're ready to uh, hit the big stage, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, Purple Songs Can Fly, joined by Olivia Newton-John, David Foster, and the Adderley Kids Choir, performing Hope Is Always Here. Till you feel it 
Download Hope is Always Here at any online retailer, including iTunes and Amazon. All proceeds benefit the Purple Songs Can Fly project. Coming up, Fox. I was diagnosed in 1992, and I was living in Los Angeles at the time. And, uh, and I had had a history of lumps, so I was regularly checking myself and found a lump and went to see the doctor. And so he did a, a surgical biopsy, and that's when we found it. You, you go through the fear, obviously, and it's natural to be afraid. But I did have a deep kind of belief that I would get through this and I would be okay. And then I was really scared of chemotherapy. That was the thing I was more frightened of than the surgery. And I battled with that for a while, but then decided that I would um, not take the chance and, and do it. So I did it and did nine months of chemo. In the healing stages, I thought maybe I wasn't going to sing anymore. But it was interesting because like a few months after I finished my treatments, all these songs kept coming into my head about the journey. So I, I started writing music because music is my, is my healing. It's part of my soul, part of my core is music. So I was able to connect to that part of myself that maybe I couldn't verbalize, but I could sing about it. The outcome of cancer now is not as bad as it was always portrayed to be. The treatments are really good, and you can also live with cancer now. I'm very proud to be raising money to build a hospital that will bear my name. It's the Olivia Newton-John Cancer and Wellness Center in Melbourne, Australia. The wellness aspect to balance body, mind, and spirit is really important to me. I think that's the new way of healing on the planet. Um, I have a Live Aid, which is a breast self examination tool for women to do regular self breast examination to encourage that. I'm so lucky now that I'm 17 years down the track and now I can say, look, I'm here, I'm a thriver and I did it and you can do it. So it's a good thing. A true symbol of survivorship, Olivia Newton-John. Thank you, David. It's an honor to be with such an incredible audience of not just survivors, but thrivers. And when it comes to healing and hope, your energy and your zest for life speak louder and say more than any words can. Absolutely. And our next performer skating speaks for itself. When she takes the ice, her heart, drive, and soul and talent grab you and take you along for the ride like you do with your music. Skating to the Climb, a song about never giving up no matter what life hands you, Here's Olympic hopeful, Ashley Wagner. Yeah. 